In this video, we will learn about the different type of screening methods of industrially important microorganisms for the production of many useful products. What is screening? Screening method includes both isolation and detection of high-yielding strain from heterogeneous or mixture of microbial population containing natural sources such as soil by using highly selective procedures. The economics of a fermentation process largely depends upon the type of microorganism used. Such an organism is generally called as a producer strain. A producer strain should possess the following characters, which is able to grow on relatively cheaper substrate, yield high quantity of the end product, possess stable biochemical characteristic, possess minimum reaction time with the equipment used in fermentation process, possess optimum growth rate so it can be easily cultivated on large scale, grow well in ambient temperature which is 30 to 40 degrees Celsius and yield only the desired substance without producing undesirable substances. Two categories of screening techniques which is primary screening and secondary screening. Primary screening techniques include crowded plate technique, oxonography, enrichment culture technique and indicator dye. Meanwhile, secondary screening includes giant colony technique, filtration method and liquid medium method. For crowded plate technique, this is a technique used for screening antibiotic producing microorganisms. It does not give information about sensitivity of antibiotics toward other microorganisms. Dilution are met then puring and spreading of salt samples that give 300 to 400 or more colonies per plate. Colonies showing antibiotic activity are indicated by zone of inhibition around the colony. Such colonies are subcultured and purified by streak before making stock culture. The purified culture are then tested to find microbial inhibition spectrum. The next is oxonography. It's a technique show the ability of microbe in produce growth factor extracellularly. So there are two major steps. First is preparations of first plate. So the filter paper is put across the bottom of the petri dish. Then the nutrient agar is prepared and poured onto the petri dish and allow it to set. Next, the sample is prepared or inoculated and incubated. Second is the second plate preparations where the minimal media growth factor is prepared and seeded with the test organism. So the agar from the first plate are carefully lifted onto the second plate without inverting. So the growth factor produced by the colonies from the first agar can diffuse into the lower layer containing the test organism. So the zone of the stimulated growth of the test organism around the colonies is an indication of the organism produce the growth factor extracellularly. Next primary screening is enrichment culture technique. This technique was designed by Martinez by Juring, a soil microbiologist, which is used to isolate microorganisms of interest from a heterogeneous microbial population. This technique uses certain growth media to favor growth of particular microorganisms over the others. This technique also allows the targeting of specific metabolic groups by using selective nutrients and incubation conditions. For example, using media containing high percentage of salt for halophile isolation. Therefore, 
The significance of this technique is to provide growth conditions that are favorable for the growth of desired organisms, whereas unfavorable for the unwanted organisms. Another primary screening is by indicator dye. It is an organic colorant that exhibits different colors in acidic or alkaline solution. Indicator dye is used to identify pH values created by colonies of microorganisms. The graph on the right indicates the important chemicals indicators such as methylviolet, thymol glue, methylate, bromothymol glue, and phenethylene. In the case of phenethylene, it turns colorless in acidic condition produced by microorganism and turn pink to dark gray by increasing pH above 9.0. The indicator usually was incorporated along with the media and changed color of particular dye in the vicinity of the colony, means the ability of colony to produce organic acid or base. If using calcium carbonate into agar medium, Production of organic acid is indicated by the formation of clear zone around those colonies which release organic acid into the medium. Next, we will look at the secondary screening of industrial microbes. The initial secondary screening is called the giant colony technique. This technique is usually used to detect and isolate antibiotic producers like streptomyces. The test organisms are cross-tricked onto the plate without touching the streptomyces growth line. Then, the inhibition spectrum of the antibiotic is measured, which is the distance of growth of the test organisms inhibited by the antibiotic. Test organisms that are less sensitive to the antibiotic can grow closer to the streptomyces growth line. Now, the inhibition spectrum of the antibiotic produced by the streptomyces isolate is confirmed, so the streptomyces isolate will be preserved for further studies. Another method of secondary screening is filtration. This method was used for antibiotics that were poorly soluble in water or do not diffuse through solid medium. As example, polyene antibiotics shown its antibiotic activity within the mycelium of streptomyces species. Thus, it requires special extraction procedure to filter out the antibiotics from the mycelium. On the slide, it shows the filtration method of the streptomyces species. First, grow the streptomyces in a broth and separate its mycelium by filtration to obtain the culture filtrate. And then, prepare a various dilutions of antibiotic filtrate and add it to the molten agar plate to be solidified. After that, strip various culture test organisms on parallel line on medium and incubate it. After incubation period ended, Measure the inhibitory growth of antibiotic against the test organisms in different antibiotic dilutions. The last secondary screening is liquid medium method. It is a method used for further screening to determine the exact amount of antibiotic produced by a microorganisms. On the slide, it shows the general flow of the liquid medium method. So firstly, use an Allen Mayer conical flask containing a highly nutrient medium and inoculate it with microorganisms. And then, incubate the flask at room temperature. And for your information, the flasks are aerated and continuously shaken on a mechanical shaker during the incubation period to allow the microorganisms to produce the antibiotic in an optimum quantity. <laughs>